There's a secret message in this video. It's really important. It's an AI video that will tell you it's AI if you know where to look. iPhone Photos app can read metadata from this real photo, like the date, camera settings, and even location. But when I choose this AI video from Sora, it doesn't tell me anything useful, and it definitely doesn't say it's AI. But this AI video supports C2PA content credentials. If I upload it to this site, it tells me it's an AI video made by Sora. It can also do images or audio, and it tracks changes to detect tampering. Any site or app or program that support content credentials could do that, but there are a few problems. First, compatibility. Google and Samsung's new phones support C2PA, basically saying any photo taken by their cameras are real. That's great, but Apple hasn't adopted C2PA or even done their own Apple thing and made some walled garden solution. And they have the most popular camera in the world. Second, metadata is stripped all the time. When you upload to social, it strips metadata for privacy, but content credentials could be visible without privacy concerns. LinkedIn actually did this already, specifically to reveal AI content credentials. If there's a social incentive or even an algorithmic bump, when C2PA credentials are included, it would build some helpful norms. But third, information only helps if you know how to use it. Imagine Instagram implemented three types of media. You had confirmed real, confirmed AI, and unknown. That only helps if it's engineered and presented to the user, for, user in a helpful way, or maybe it's a background algorithm check, but I think transparency would be much more helpful here. I know some of you want blockchain solutions, but that would add complexity, it would add another failure point, it would live separately from the file, and it would add cost. There is no perfect solution, but C2PA is low friction and it has momentum, so I would encourage companies to start adopting it because it's the most robust thing we have right now and we need something.